right, uh, we are at Gigabytes Cafe in Atlanta, Georgia, ready for another Drop Zone Commander battle report. Um, today we're playing a four-player game. Um, we've got Brian, Alan, uh, William, who's working on his list right now, and uh, my name's Cameron. Uh, the mission we're playing is called Land Grab. Uh, each player comes in from a different corner, so we have the four corners as our starting zones. Got a bunch of buildings. Um, any building with a red objective on top, as a, sorry, those aren't objectives, those are focal points. And the way you win the mission, um, if you have a unit within six inches of a focal point, you get a victory point at the end of the mission. And if you have the most points value of units near a specific focal point, more than any other player, you get an additional two victory points at the end of the mission. So it gives you, you know, you want to win the focal points, but you also want to contest the other ones. Um, I think that should be a pretty good explanation. Uh, we will do our army lists. All right, so one of our objectives for this game was to show off some of the new experimental units that have been released. So we've all tried to take some of the uh, experimentals. Uh, my, my name's Cameron again. This is my PHR list. I've got a Zeus and an Odin and a Neptune as a command group. And then as their scout choice, we have some Mercury drones with the uh, Skyhammer missiles and the stealth missile upgrades in their Tritons. We've got a Battle Pantheon, uh, two Phobos and a Neptune, and a Phobos and an Ares in a Neptune. And we've got an Immortal Phalanx with two squads of Immortals and Tritons. And then as a heavy choice, I've got two Tyrannus artillery pieces with no transport. All right, so I'm playing Shaltari again, and uh, I've got a couple of battle groups. I've got a command battle group with a Coyote War Strider. And then I've got a standard uh, battle group with uh, four Tarantulas and a uh, Dream Snare. And then I've got uh, a special battle group, which is going to consist of just the Kukris. And then I've got uh, two infantry battle groups with a total of three uh, stands of Braves. And then I've got uh, one Gaia Heavy Gate and then three Spirit Gates. While this is technically a Thunderbird, it's actually a proxy for a Spirit because uh, I need three in my list. And uh, so that's it. In my Oppressor unit, I've got a Desolator with a Minder. Four Minders and an Intruder Beta with two Reaver Heavy Gunships. Over here in my Vanguard, I've got three hunters, a three-man Hunter with a Marauder, a three-man Reaper with a Marauder. In my Warrior Squad, I have two Warriors with an Intruder Alpha and one Reaver. In my Occupational Force, I have four Prowlers with an Intruder Beta and two Destroyers with an Intruder Alpha. Okay. okay. Uh, standard gates uh, have the Spirits, so they look forward, the larger and heavy lifters with the Aidens, a couple of Havens to, on the ground to transport the troops. We have the Tomatoks and the uh, Tarantulas as my uh, heavy armor with a totem in here just so we can play something new. Have uh, the normal uh, Braves. Braves, thank you, because these are the first ones. The Braves, two squads of them. Then we have a scout team with the first corners and two Yaris, and then a command module with a, a uh, Elder at 66 points. All right. Uh, this is our deployment because this mission allows you to direct deploy. Um, I have deployed my two Tyrannus uh, artillery, missile artillery guys over in the corner. Uh, Brian's got his coyote and looks like three kukris over there. Uh, William's got his coyote. And Alan. Alright, we will be back at the end of turn one. We are at the end of turn one, and I'll let Brian uh, describe his turn first. Alright, most of this turn is basically just bringing everything in. So I brought in my uh, armor group with the, uh, the tarantulas and the dream snare, and then I brought in uh, the gates for my infantry and landed them. Uh, the infantry are still uh, dematerialized. Uh, I moved my commander up, took a shot at that building, moved up my AA. Uh, it's starting to get pretty crowded here with uh, all these uh, armies so close together, so it's gonna be really bloody really quick. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he shot at this building here and did, uh, Three damage. Uh, so I moved my infantry into this building, 
uh, my Tyrannus missile batteries fired at that building way on the far side of the board and did what, two damage, three damage, and hurt his infantry for two damage that are inside with falling masonry. My um, commander is down there with the Odin, and then we've got an Ares and a Phobos down there. The Mercury drones uh, went ahead and deployed, and they were providing the scout spotting for the Tyrannus batteries with a line of sight there. Tritons were a little bit out of range to shoot anything this turn because they're, they're the, the Skyhammer missiles only have a move and fire of six, so it's a little short range. I've got two more Phobos walkers in there, uh, still embarked. Um, I also put infantry in this building here, and that was their transport. All right, uh, William? All right, the second Shantari army here basically just got things on the board, which I could not do everything. I did not have a gate to get the uh, total mount. So we did get uh, infantry into one building, our firstborns into a building with a uh, focal point. The only thing that could shoot this round was the command, which took a pot shot to little effect of any against far yonder building with an objective. All right, yep, tarantulas in there. All right, excuse me. All right, I right, basically just brought everything in, uh, hit the deck with most everything. This is AA back here. I'm just guarding that line. I did put two infantry in this building. They did shoot at it. Took, took a little bit of damage here from their shots from falling masonry. And I did use my weavers and I shot at the center focal point building here. There's some pretty good damage to it because, hey, if I can get rid of that, then that's just one less focal point I have to worry about. All right, we'll see you at the end of turn two. Here we are at the end of turn two, and we'll have Brian go first. All right, so um, my Kukris, which were on this side of the building, took their pot shots on his desolator, did some damage. Then he counterattacked with his armor and took out uh, my Kukris. I then counterattacked with my tarantulas and managed to take out uh, some of his armor. So that's basically it for my, my turn. <laughs> And did you shoot any buildings or anything? Oh yeah, I shot a lot of buildings. So the one in the center there is in serious danger of collapse. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. Um, and then his gunships also contributed to killing the, the kukris over there. Um, all right, so my guys went to the wall and shot something. Didn't hurt anything. Um, my Tyrannus shot the Scourge building over here again and just rolled and then seven uh, damage to it, but they managed to do nine wounds due to falling masonry and they just completely wiped out the squad that was in there. So they're just empty now. Um, this Triton's still hanging out over here. These guys took a shot at a, y a Yari, I think. Uh, they shot a tarantula? No, okay. Okay. Um, Sorry. These guys shot, uh, they managed to kill a tomahawk and put a wound on a tarantula, is that right? Uh, by shooting this squad over here. Um, the command walkers were kind of out of position, so they just did a quick dust off over here with a transport. The AA is deployed, they're hanging around the edge of the building there. They didn't shoot anything this turn. Um, and then I have one Mercury drone up here providing line of sight, and I fired two Skyhammer missiles at the damaged tarantula and managed to completely overkill it, so that was not the best move, but the tarantula's dead now. And I think that's all my stuff. All right, on to right. William. The second Shaltari. The tarantulas with tomahawks here have been fighting a very one-sided battle the wrong way uh, against these troops over here. We did lose a tarantula and a tomahawk. The uh, building here was occupied. They're still in good shape, but the, but the destroyers coming in, I'm very much questioning how badly I want to be there. I <laughs> uh, have had fair success at shooting buildings, but the main thing that the group over here did is we did a high speed run from this back building through the gates, Shaltari style, to get to the center building. So, yeah, there's a haven there, and then they came out of those spirits, right? Mm -hmm. And they're in the building up there. Which at which point everybody on the board but me started shooting that building to great effect. We have suffered minor damages, but the building is literally about to go off the of us. Yeah, it's uh, it's not in great shape there. Um, anything else over here? Oh, the, well, I guess uh, yeah, he can tell. Alan problems. can talk about that. So, all right. Well, the scorch are currently fighting a two-front battle against two Shatari armies. So basically, I brought my intruder over here, detonated it, it didn't do nothing. He used a car to core overload. And 
Crowler jumped out first, and he shot and killed one. Then I brought the other intruder over, jumped my hunters in the building, shot, took a couple shots, did some damage to the building, and we're about to resolve this close quarter combat. The, uh, the spire there is giving them a passive save to the building, so it mitigated some of that damage. Then on the other front, we um, moved up our desolator, shot, and did a tremendous amount of damage. I forget how much it was, but it's at least 10. And moved our gunships up, killed some Kukuris in retribution, and lost some infantry stands to following masonry. And I think that was about it. All right. so I did move my, my little, uh, what are those? Minders. Things? Minders up, but they, did, they were out of range. All right, we will see you at the end of turn three. We are at the end of turn three. Go ahead. All right, so moved uh, my trashels up forward. Uh, they were able to take out some of his AA. Uh, that's pretty much all I was able to do this round. Just one left now? Yeah, so he's down to just one AA tank. Anything else? That's it? No. Okay. Um, so my Tyrannus shot that building where there was the fight between the Firstborn and the Destroyers, just did some havoc. Um, I had some infantry in there, they moved over there with their Triton transport. Um, these walkers moved around, this Phobos reaction fired his invader, what's it called? The Vader? Vader? Vader. Um, uh, killed it when it tried to move out of its range. The Ares shot the building, did nothing. Amazingly. Uh, these two intruders, these two Phobos fired at his AA tank over there with a uh, reroll to hit command card. Uh, didn't kill it. Didn't get any sixes. Um, the Zeus and the Odin fired and did some damage to his uh, anti tank unit down here. Killed a Tomahawk and. That was it. Yeah, that was it. And then the, uh, the Mercuries and the Tritons here. Uh, you know, the Tritons were able to fire their stealth missiles, and between the two of them, they blew up the other tarantula, so that's dead. Um, fired some random stealth missiles. I think that's it for the PHR. All right, the second Shartari, the, as he pointed out, the armor battle over here is not going well for the Shartari. We've got one tank left in a command unit. Command unit has been in a very irritating battle with a bunch of prowlers that is just taking one off at a time. And they are a total annoyance. Uh, the Spire has went up to the mothership, hopefully to come back soon and wreak havoc upon the annoying BHR. And they had a very resounding victory of the first ones against the destroyers in one round, which is something I've never seen before. Hey. Oh, and these guys were in the center building. They uh, teleported out, and they're hiding back here now. So, as I said, they picked on my AA quite a bit. I moved, focused everything at his striders, Tran tarantulas. tarantula striders, and destroyed two of them with my, my re reavers. Reavers, yes, thank you. I also shot at him with my desolator, did nothing, and did nothing with my intruder. Over here, I just moved these guys over here. I'm going to try to come around and just harass some flyers. I did lose. Oh, that was last I think that was last turn, yeah. yeah. And I just left him here just to hold this focal point. And of course, as he said, my, my little prowlers over here harassing his command unit. All right. Continue to do that until they're dead. That's it. I will see you at the end of turn four. Here we are at the end of turn four. Uh, Brian first. All right, so I did some Sheltari trickery, and I gated my uh, commander, moved to the gate, and then dematerialized over here. And then I also activated my infantry, having uh, this gate swing around over here and pop into that building. And then having these two gates go uh, on a long-range drive over to that building. And um, and then uh, I had some shooting in around here that was totally ineffective, uh, and that's it. All right, um, my infantry went to the wall, and when his gate moved over there, they uh, went after the gate, small arms it down, killed it. Um, Tyrannus fired at the middle building, which is pretty close to death, getting there. 
Um, these guys jumped into my building here. The Phobos all fired at his one remaining AA tank again. This time managed to kill it. Uh, the Ares took a shot at his Spire, which materialized there. Didn't hurt it. Um, the Zeus and the Odin took shots over at the Tarantulas. They do like one damage on a Tarantula, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, Neptune shot some stuff. Uh, the I think the uh, some somebody finished off that last tarantula this turn, or was it or the tomahawk? I think you got it with one of your yeah, one of my shape charge shots on the stealth missiles killed it. Okay. Um, and I have one transport with some infantry way over there. All right, go ahead. All right, and as you said, the your final tomahawk finally gave up the ghost. This came back out of the ether. It took a worthless pot shot in his Phobos. The high point. Uh, this team's on this round was we killed the last of the stupid prowlers that have been chasing me around the back of this building for three turns. That was a good point. Other than that, uh, not much happened in this corner. Cool. All right. And Alan? All right. I moved up, was out of range here, moved over here to do a static discharge, and didn't do anything. Now I'm sort of spreading everything out because I want to get into striking distance of all the focal points I've got. An intruder in that back corner. The rest of my guys over here and one over here. So just waiting for turn six. That's it. All right. See you at turn five. Of turn five. Brian, what do we got? All right. So I did uh, more Shaltari uh, chicanery. Moved my commander up just a little bit more. Redeployed uh, some of my infantry. And... Uh, Jumped into this building, and then the other Shaltari player decided to jump in with his infantry as well, so I think something's fixing to happen. All right. Um, so uh, the two infantry bases here had, a, had an infantry fight shooting each other at the buildings. Uh, he did two damage to my base. I did one damage to his, which finished it off. Uh, they just sitting there. I have a dropship with infantry waiting outside that building. This building got blown up. Uh, it's gone now. Uh, the Desolator came in and managed to do... Did it kill anything? Yeah. Hurt some buildings, right? Yeah. Yeah, it had a, it had a bad round. Um, my AA blew it up. It destroyed an air, so it didn't crash on anything. Uh, he used a card that boosted his shields over there, so those guys were barely worth shooting at this turn. Um, took a couple pot shots, some different things. That's about it for me. Okay, over here, finally got the, the Phobos that shot out for three rounds and did a little bit of magic to get my uh, Shaltari over there to engage the other Shaltari, so we're having a Shaltari yeah, Silver yeah. War on the, the rooftop. Uh, other than that, that was so uh, not much happening in this quarter. All right, the Scourge. I have been reduced to a destructionary force, so I am just going building hunting. I've destroyed this building, and I've actually managed to get my Desolator destroyed myself, so it's gone, and that's pretty much it. All right, we'll see how it goes turn six. Yeah. Are at the end of turn six, end of the game. Um, so we can talk about what we did the turn, then I'll talk about how it ended up. So, what'd your guys do? All right. So basically, what I did is I had my surviving armor group retreat a little bit closer uh, to this building, so I could contest it, uh, knowing that he was eventually going to pop some infantry in there. So I just retreated back a little bit. This infantry that was manning the wall had taken some hits uh, from being shot at from both falling masonry and being shot at. So they just retreated into the interior of the building. I've been slowly moving my commander uh, across the board because I knew there was going to be a big CQB over in this building. And I was able to get him to where we got within the sphere of influence. He could play an augmented strength card. And we had a major uh, CQB between the Sheltari. I took out one entire unit uh, and uh, was able to hold on to this building despite everyone else being uh, around it. So that was um, that was it for me. All right, um, I managed to kill one more tarantula here with my Walker guys. Um, moved my infantry over there. Uh, just put my infantry into here. They didn't get to fight in this turn because they just assaulted this turn. And um, I strung out my Mercury drones so that I could contest this building but contribute most of their points over to that building because it was under under more threat. Uh, what do you got? Okay, well, I finished my cleaning out of the Phobos that I despise so much. 
over this side here and had to end up with this building. Again, as was pointed out, this was the building where it all ended. And Brian managed to get exactly the right number of uh, fives and sixes to clean out the entire squad. So at that point, he had the building in the game. So, yeah, the way the, the scoring ended up going, um, I actually contested all four focal points that were left because uh, I had my Mercury doing it there, and I had infantry there, infantry there, and then walkers here. So that's four points, and then I won this one, so that's an additional two, so I had six. Uh, William contested these two focal points, and he won this one, so that's four points. Brian contested um, those three, and then he won this one, and because he ended up winning that CQB, he just squeaked out that one too. So he got the two points for winning that focal point. So three plus two plus two is seven. So he ended up winning the battle. Uh, so yeah, good game. Came down to one CQB on the very last turn. Um, and you know, very, very close. Good game. Um, do you guys have any thoughts on some of the experimental units that we used this time? Yeah, I took the, uh, the two experimental units that I took were the, uh, the tarantulas and the dream snare. Um, the combination of putting a whole cluster of tough units that have got two damage points in with a dream snare definitely helped. Now, I obviously got whittled down from my initial four down to only one, but uh, my dream snare actually survived the uh, fight unscathed. So that was pretty good in that remark. So that's definitely a com uh, powerful combination. So I think it's worthwhile and. Uh, Need some more experimentation to see uh, what the optimum uh, size for this unit is going to be, but I think tarantulas with the dream snare is definitely worthwhile. Cool. How about you? I had brought in the tarantulas and the totem. The totem was quite effective. I uh, protected this building for quite a while and took out two phobos. Uh, but the tarantulas, with only two of them with a small group of tomahawks, was nowhere near as effective as they were with Brian. Just showing that on their own, they're not really that tough by themselves. Again, I had two as opposed to the four that Brian bought and brought, I should say. Next time, I'll be bringing more. Okay, and then uh, I took the Mercury drones, and uh, I think that was it. Uh, so I, I didn't think at first that the Mercury drones would be that good in land grab because because they're a, it's a focal point mission, and you know all that the drones do is let you contribute your points, but... Um, you know, they actually ended up being a nice little tool because you could, you know, they're really mobile and you can uh, string them out and, and contest a focal point. Um, so, so, yeah, that was good. And they, you know, added the points over there. And then also, you know, as long as you take the Tritons and you have the missiles, and I took the stealth missile upgrades on the tr on those those uh, Tritons as well, they turned into pretty good anti-tank gunships. You know, they were able to take out like a Tomahawk and a Tarantula over there. So, you know, they, they, they did some damage for sure. Uh, so yeah, they're pretty good. Um, it's kind of tough, I think, in a skirmish game to fit them into a list because it's it's tough to spend that many points on on scouts. Um, so I don't know if that'd be my optimal skirmish, but definitely I think they're a decent unit. Um, so I guess that's it. Any other thoughts, guys? Here. All right. See you next time.